Good morning, I mean afternoon, planet Earth. We're back, because we promised you guys a sequel. So here it is. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. So we have to re-initiate the Fred rivalry. Because that's all oh, right. right? Right, so, um, so this kid, Ed Eduardo, showed us uh, these videos by some kid named Fred. Uh, if you do a search for Fred videos, he'll come pop right up. I'm sure pretty much most of your audience will know who Fred is. I didn't know who Fred was. I didn't know who Fred was. Well, Fred is pretty famous. I mean... Wait, wait, are you implying that I'm, like, not exactly. pretty famous? Oh. All right, well, uh, anyways... You, you always have to start from somewhere, right? Yeah. Like, don't lose hope. Yeah, absolutely. Start from, start from the bottom, work your way up. I've got, like, 11 subscribers. Yeah. And nice. I have two friends, two YouTube friends. Wow, that's, that's great. That's uh, anyways. Well on the way. <laughs> To so, uh, I mean, yeah, but video. We started with 50 Cent, so. <laughs> is that really why his name is 50 Cent? No, I'm making the. Uh, anyway, keep Video uh, I uploaded the other day, video uh, 24, part A, uh, one, whatever, was like suddenly in one day, like my videos generally get over the same number of ratings, but all of a sudden 124 jumped to 124 views in a day. It was just surprising, but then I realized I had tagged like Obama in the name, so I thought that maybe. That has to do with something with it, so I've been putting Obama in all of my videos. But still, like when you when you search the video, like if you type in Obama, yeah, you just see like this is life at MIT video twenty four, right. right? Like why? I Maybe. don't know. It's weird. So like, if any of you guys know why, if one of you decided that like, you know, you're really into my videos and you watched it one hundred twenty four times, please let me know because you that would that would be Normandy award worthy, definitely. So uh, yeah, well, Fred though, Fred. Um, some other kid on YouTube is doing these videos, and uh, you'll recognize him by his like really high voice. He uses editing equipment. I can do it naturally. Um, he he sounds a little something like this. He's like, yeah. So what I did? My name is Fred, and I make these videos, and I'm gonna call Judy, and she's gonna come swimming with me because I got this new pool, and it's a really big pool, and I like swimming, and I'm not gonna go swimming in it. So I went by my backyard, and then I went swimming. Oh, it's actually a small pool. Ah, there's a shark in my pool. Oh, what am I gonna do? I don't like sharks. I'm just gonna swim away. Oh, wait, Kevin's here. Kevin's mean. Kevin's big. He's gonna scare me. He's gonna beat me up. I have to run away from Kevin. I have to get back inside. Oh no. What am I gonna Something like that. Uh, he is kind of what he sounds like. So um, he he does he does sound a little a little hyperactive. I'm gonna come cut your neck like this. Hey, it's Ben. Ben's here, guys. Hi, Ben. You are making despicable sounds, okay? So that's that's that that leads us into our next thing. Actually, what we're gonna talk about is uh, because of Fred's videos. If Fred, if you if you are watching this right now. <laughs> I'm issuing you. I'm 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 issuing you a, a an official YouTube challenge. I don't know what it consists of or what it is actually. Get in there and shut the door but I am issuing you guys. a YouTube challenge. So yeah, it's on. It's it's on totally. Fred. Oh, but don't worry. We're not talking about this Fred. This is the Fred that we have all come to love and and cherish, and he's a, he's a really awesome dude. Fred, go, go, Fred. Fred. Come on. Okay. okay. And this is right. why they insist that Ryan get help. Because MIT is turning him, as you have seen, insane. Not really. I'm perfectly normal. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. So we, we all have exams it's so and scared. stuff. It's tough. Uh... I, 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 did we already talk about this? I can't believe yeah, I think we did. I think we did. I think we did. We spent right. so long trying to, like, make these vlogs. That, yeah. Like, we've forgotten what we have and have not talked about. Because you guys are worth it. Each and every one of you. Right now, look into my eyes right now. Come on, ready? Look in, look in, okay. You, you are worth it. You remember that face when it's on CNN, like, <laughs> now for, like, the last thing of the little children. <laughs> <laughs> you just remember that face with like a beard, like some wrinkles, like here. I mean, remember that face and remember the look into my eyes. See, I care for you. Remember that. It's crazy. Is that is that is that okay? Can that be published? Because <laughs> that's really good. I don't think. I, I think okay. He's joking. Around. I think we'll keep that because he Anurag was obviously joking around. 
Yeah. So, I mean... <laughs> what? Eduardo was upset, because Eduardo made some what? off-color jokes earlier, and we didn't keep those. I don't know. Should we keep the hut? We should keep it. It's not... Oh, my God! Was that a... Okay, that was a sand off. That was a knife. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eduardo. I think, I think it's fine. Okay. Like, okay, look. There are molestations that happen in this country, right? Right. If we were discussing a news, like a news segment, if we're talking about like serious politics, yeah. there'd be nothing wrong with saying molestation. Right? right, right. There are people that molest kids, right? They are bad people. <laughs> can't believe we're having a serious <laughs> there, conversation. They are horrible it. people, but they're a very real problem. So I don't think it's like a word right. that like, and because banned from discourse. Yeah, because I want to go into politics. I feel like this is, is something worth discussing, maybe. So, yeah. It's a fair argument. So, Eduardo, what's your argument in defense for uh... No, we don't have, we don't have to talk about no, Eduardo's no. argument defending his, his <laughs> comments earlier. Uh, yeah, the comments we... were perfectly fine. They did not offend anybody. Right. They were just a play on words. Uh-huh. It was. It was a very clever play on words. Very clever. Uh, very, very... Shakespearean level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward silence. All right, I think... Uh, Wait, we were talking about voices, right? Fred's weird voice? No, well, we already finished that. And then yeah. we concluded with, like, you issue him a challenge. Oh, yeah, right. So, I so all you YouTube viewers out there, you should uh, go to Fred's page and, like, leave him comments. And, like, yeah, follow spam him. him. Say yeah. yeah. If not... Yeah. Fred, because Fred... I mean, let's let's be um, real here. Fred is never going to watch this video. Unless someone <laughs> tells him that he got challenged. Right. We so, have to spread maybe. the word about okay. this challenge. So, guys, yeah. Spam the Fred. We should even start a Facebook group. No, no, no. Ryan Norman didn't challenge us. <laughs> to challenge. And, like, join. Or, like, if, like, you know, one million viewers, like, or one million people, like, join this group, then, like, Ryan... That's actually a good way to get attention. Is to say, yeah, if one million people join this group, because that always gets people to join. You should do something crazy. Like, if... That, like, one million people, like, like, if one million people join, you would do... That would be really like, good for your public image. I say parachuting off the green building. I would totally parachute off the green building. I don't. Because so it's not, not that tall. But your parachute, you'd have to like release it like immediately. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. How about hand gliding off the green building? Ooh. That'd be cool. That would actually. That's, but you, but you have to keep these like, like Ryan has to actually be able to do these. I don't think <laughs> you can sanction him. Um, I think. Uh, you know, we put some research behind it. MIT will let us do it. I, I think. Put some research behind it? So what, yeah, what you would know, like Ryan the pumpkin be testing? Drop, you know. We're testing uh, oh, the what's aerodynamics. The what is the pumpkin drop you... test? Huh? What is the pumpkin drop test? I have no idea. They were testing, I don't know. But they let them do it. Because it's the same thing every year, right? Do you have to yeah. do the same experiment every year? Because you have to, because Hume says, what Hume argues is that we can't base any of our, our predictions about the future on what happened in the past, because just because something's always been a certain way doesn't mean it will suddenly change. We can't know that the sun will rise tomorrow, because maybe it won't. That's yes. what Hume says. I say Hume that is, is really dumb and kind of confused, but that's okay. I, it, technically, I guess he's right. Yeah. Like, we don't know. But, like, for all intents and purposes, we can say it will. Yeah. Because he, he, uh, with his argument, he's arguing that we can't know anything at all. And, like, but then it's circular because he uses induction to prove that, but according to his own argument, induction doesn't work, so it's circular. But it kind of makes sense. You don't know the sun is going to rise tomorrow. I mean, for all we know, the Earth is going to spiral off in, like, massive craziness. Yes, yeah, that's what Earth's we're saying. The population but like... exploded in combustion... Okay, I'm, okay, can you guys help here? Like, I'm just firing We also don't design. know that, like, like, certain theories in science are true or not. But for right. all intents and purposes, they work. My mom would I mean, argue biology that biology is the only doesn't. one that's very, very true. Eduardo is a bio that's major. Math. That's math. I mean, uh, math is... evolution. I'm sorry, evolution. Evolution, oh. yeah. He says evolution. But, I, but math, math is like perfect. Matthew can know everything. Well, math. 
math. Our current mathematics are based... Oh, no. 25 seconds. Our current mathematics is based on something called the axiom of choice. The axiom of choice it says that you can take a sphere of radius 1, split it into uh, three pieces and four pieces. Put three pieces over here and four pieces over here. So you have, like, seven pieces total. And from the pile of four pieces, you make another sphere of radius 1. From the pile of three pieces, you make another sphere of radius 1. So then you have two spheres of radius 1 that came from the one sphere of radius 1. Obviously, that doesn't work, but the axiom of choice says it does work. And if it doesn't work, then all of our mathematics doesn't work. 